Hi, I'm Jia Yisun, a graduate student at The Ohio State University, Department of Astronomy. In this short video, I'll be talking about my recent paper named Cloud Scale Molecular Gas Properties in 15 Nearby Galaxies. This paper has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal. The cold and dense molecular gas in the interstellar medium is believed to be the direct gas reservoir for star formation in galaxies. In our own galaxy and in other very nearby galaxies, people have observed that the molecular interstellar medium shows discrete and likely self-gravitating structures, which are called molecular clouds. These clouds usually have a spatial scale of tens up to maybe 100 parsecs, which we refer to as cloud scale. Understanding the behavior of molecular gas at this cloud scale is crucial for building up a successful theory that explains when and how star formation happens. This is exactly one of the main goals that our collaboration, named FANGS, would like to achieve. FANGS stands for Physics at High Angular Resolution in Nearby Galaxies. We are actively collecting and analyzing multi-wavelength, high-resolution data for a carefully selected example of around 80 nearby star-forming galaxies. This includes ongoing millimeter observations using ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter and Submillimeter Array, as well as optical integral field spectroscopy taken by MUSE, the multi-unit spectroscopic explorer on the Very Large Telescope. Combining these arc-second resolution observations with existing UV, optical, and infrared data, this will be the best data set ever to study the interplay of the small-scale gas physics and star formation with galactic structure and galaxy evolution. My paper is presenting part of the first-round science results coming out from this collaboration. In this paper, we include the first 11 galaxies in the faint sample. These observations cover most of the actively star-forming area in each of these galaxies. To supplement this sample, we also include four other galaxies with existing data. These include M51, a grand design spiral galaxy, M31, a high-mass early type spiral galaxy in the local group, M33, an intermediate mass dwarf spiral galaxy also in the local group, and the antennae galaxies, the nearest major merger pair. All these observations capture the spectral line emission from the carbon monoxide molecules in the interstellar medium. These CO molecules are believed to be good tracers of the molecular gas. By analyzing the spectral line integrated intensity and line width, we create maps of molecular gas surface density and velocity dispersion at cloud scale resolution. This yields a sample of about 30,000 independent measurements in total, which is vastly larger than previous works. All these measurements will be published with the paper in a machine-readable table. These measurements show that molecular gas properties vary significantly both within each galaxy and across our whole sample. We see enhanced surface density and velocity dispersion in the central 1 kPa region of many strongly barred galaxies. This is consistent with previous low-resolution observations in similar galaxies, and it supports the idea that Stellar bar drives gas inward to the central region. We observe strong correlation between molecular gas surface density and velocity dispersion in the star-forming disks. This scaling relation is the counterpart of the so-called Larsen's relation, but derived at a fixed spatial scale. For the 11 galaxies in the Fink's sample, the slope and normalization of this relation suggests that the observed molecular gas is close to energy equipartition, meaning that the kinetic energy nearly balances the gravitational potential energy. Outside the faint sample, both M51 and the antennae galaxies show similar behavior. However, the two local group galaxies, M31 and M33, exhibit low surface density and excess in velocity dispersion. The difference between these two galaxies with others is likely due to the difference in the sensitivity limit as we can easily detect fainter emission in these two galaxies, which are more than 10 times closer to us than the others. Nevertheless, these results suggest that the fainter emission might come from less bounded, diffuse molecular gas. This hypothesis can be tested by future observations with higher sensitivity. In addition to the boundedness, we also estimate the internal turbulent pressure in the molecular gas. The observed wide range of surface density and velocity dispersion implies that the gas turbulent pressure varies by five orders of magnitude across our sample. 
Comparing this quantity with the ambient pressure in the interstellar medium will offer clues for the mechanism that galaxy disks self-regulate. We will discuss this topic in more detail in the following paper. We've posted the paper on archive, and the link to the paper is provided below. Please look it up for more details on the science results. Thanks for watching.